We have had a very stormy night. Storm Christoph has been here. It's been rattling and banging and blowing all night and I've been lying in my bed with the window open. I really like to open the window when it's stormy because I like listening to it and I really like to feel the breeze on my face as well. I'm not a fan of cold, but it wasn't cold. If it's cold, I shut the window. This has been a lockdown development. I never used to sleep with my window open ever, ever, ever. I don't know why, I just didn't feel very secure, but now I really like it. I'd be all be pleased because he, well, he prefers the window open. I've got all my normal things lined up, my little jobs list. I'm gonna try and get out for a walk because I didn't go yesterday. It rained all day yesterday. Probably gonna rain today as well, but I'll probably try and get out and uh, see what we can see. But right now I'm gonna go and get a cup of tea, get some breakfast and finish off last night's vlog. I was having trouble with the audio because I was using two cameras, this one and the big one as well, and the audio was different from either one and I've tried to sort it all out and get it even but oh, I was just getting myself into more and more of a mess with it last night and I just gave up about 11pm and was like right I'm gonna go to bed get some sleep and then try again with a fresh head in the morning and now I've, I am that fresh head and I'm like oh no it's all a big mess <laughs> I've watched a million tutorials and I just can't figure out how to do it unless I do every single one individually. I've seen how you should do it. I tried it, it just didn't behave how it did on the video. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I'll speak to you later. I'm on such a massive learning curve with the vlog at the moment. Having upped the gear level, you know, it's come with a lot of complexity. So at the moment I'm spending a lot of time looking up how to do stuff and watching tutorials on YouTube and I'm finding out things just at that point of being incredibly interested in finding it out and so it's going in that's the best way to learn isn't it when you're really interested and it is taking a lot of time but I feel like I'm in a really steep learning curve at the moment I'm really enjoying it there's a lot of floundering though a lot of like ah help will I ever get the vlog out tomorrow because I get myself into these flipping messes with it and then I have to sort it out like, oh. anyway yeah I'm exporting it and um, I've had two coffees and no breakfast so I'm gonna get myself some breakfast now and probably sit down and watch a vlog and then crack on as you can see it's a right old rainy day out there today forecast reckons it's set in for days. Hark at that rain. It's gone a little bit quieter now the second I put the camera on but it's been really belting down and the wind has been howling and I'm feeling less and less like going out for a walk today. It's just about come up to lunchtime now. I've been potching around on the laptop all day just getting things done. I've still got a few more laptopy jobs to do but I'm going to stop and eat the rest of the pancake stuff and the rest of the tomato stuff for my lunch. Izzy's not hungry so she's going to feed herself later. There's some cauliflower and green beans. She's going to incorporate that into something that she makes herself. I've had my lunch very nice it was too added lots of chili flakes nearly burnt my mouth off i am back at my laptop again and i'm doing an admin task that i've been meaning to do for two days downloaded a template to do that just need to generate something and send it to somebody and then i'll be done with that right where's that email gone here it is let's just get some figures from an email which i need to include Okay, that's done and emailed off, so good. That's ticked off the list. The next thing I've been meaning to do this for months is generate just a PayPal donate link in the description of my videos, just for anybody who know it's a thing that YouTubers do. So I was gonna try and do that, but I can't get in because it wants to ring my old landline in my old house to verify that it's me. So I'm gonna do a little bit of digging around. I'm sure this is something I can overcome with a bit of fiddling around and following my nose. <laughs> I think if I go via another means, I can just log into my account, change that number to my mobile. That should work. Fingers crossed. It seems I can't do anything with my PayPal without logging in and I can't log in because it wants me to confirm my phone number, but it's the old landline from the house that I haven't lived in from a year and a half ago. But I have found a customer services number. So I'm gonna ring them now. I could be some time, you know what it's like. We are currently experiencing extended wait times and, as a result, customer service representatives may not be available for service. You may receive faster service by visiting our help centre and sending us a message. Can't. Like help, Gotta log in. Any page on it's no good. Uh, 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 I'm in. That was easier than I thought. 
I was only waiting a minute or two and they just reset my phone number, sent me a code to my phone to make sure it was the right one and then I had to say that back to her over the phone and then I had to attempt to log in while she was still on the line and it worked so yay! Right, donate button, here we come. Now I just need to find out how to do this next bit. I'm still at it, now I'm on live chat because I set up the PayPal link but it had my real name on it and obviously that's not very safe to do that and have it in the public domain so I'm doing the online chat now with an assistant. I'm not sure if they know what on earth I'm on about. Oh I can set up a new account, okay. Unfortunately the system will not allow us to change your name on your PayPal account to a different person's name. That's correct. You may set, because I said, well, should I set up a second account? They said, that's correct. You may set up a new account for this, but please note that for that account to be verified, you need to have a confirmed bank account. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I'll try it with my personal one. I don't know. Is that confirmed? I mean, it's real. Sometime later and mission set up PayPal donation link has been a fail. I need to have a business account, I think. Or do I? I don't know. I have to have a... Oh, it's confusing me. <laughs> I went through lots of confusing things and did some live chat and I'm just confused. I'm not sure. I think I need to set up a separate account for it, but I think I need to do a business account, but it's not an official business and they want like official business name and it's not an official business. So I don't know what to do. Whether I could just set up a different bank account for it with that account or I don't know. I'm not registered as a business. I'm registered as a self-employed, so I would declare any pennies I make on the YouTube channel into my tax return. But to be honest, I'm running at a loss anyway because I keep buying gear, which costs way more than I get on AdSense. So... Uh, but I'll, I'll declare that anyway as a loss. But yeah, so I don't know. Any ideas? Anybody understand about how PayPal buttons work? Be most interested to hear your views. I'm thinking I should probably go for that walk now if I'm going to go. Check the GoPro in my bag. It is absolutely peeing down with rain and it's starting to get dark a bit as well. But I've been sitting there staring at screen all day trying to do annoying things that take ages and then you can't actually do them. I hate them, they're the worst. You just end up going into a wormhole, you know, you thought it was going to be something so quick and easy and then, you know, a phone call, live chat later, fiddling around, reading terms and conditions and you're still none the wiser. <laughs> I hate that, it really annoys me. Oh, and it's nearly dark. But anyway, let's go for a walk, just a quick one, blow away the cobwebs. I've made it out of the house. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Storm Christoph. Blimey. The river's looking pretty full. This was a little trickle the other day. Wow. Well, this was worth coming out to see. That's woken me up a bit. I wouldn't fancy going down that in a canoe. Not that I'd fancy going in a canoe at all, but you know, it looks pretty ferocious. This river is actually pretty high compared to usual. I've never seen it this high in all the time I've lived here. We're only about a meter off from the top. Gosh, I hope it doesn't flood. It'd be pretty horrific. You can see that it's not normally this high by the fact that the plants are sticking out of it, you know. <laughs> and here as well, you can see charming and all the beer cans washed up. Oh wow. It's like monsoon season in South Wales. Waves going over the top of the ivy. Got a bit of sort of flooding here. I should be alright. My boots are kind of waterproof as long as it doesn't go over the top. There's even the flowing stream in the car park. Looks like that drain is completely inundated. Wow! You can smell this coming up. It doesn't smell that nice either. Just kind of pondy, you know. It's not offensive particularly. But wow, it's really churning up, isn't it, over there? I can stand and look at that all day. I'll tell you what it reminds me of, being on a boat, you know when you're looking over the side of the boat or the end of the boat and seeing all the water churning up, reminds me of that.
Oh gosh, this lane's all flooded too. <laughs> My umbrella's trying to blow away, needless to say, because it is all so windy. Oh, I found a dry bit, like an island. I've made it into the park. Oh, sandbags diverting water into a drain. All that, my goodness. Yeah, that drain's completely overwhelmed as well, isn't it? The geese don't seem to mind the weather though, do they? Oh, they're off. Bye. There is one child in the play area and one very soggy looking parent. They are on a massive swing, living it up. Oh my word, that is so, whoa. Well, I'm wet now. Look, <laughs> I just wanted to show you that's not supposed to look like that. And there's another patch, the same, a little bit further along. Oh, I think I need to get back on the pavement. Oh, that's quite wide for like perspective. quite fun coming out here in the rain. I've never been when it's been quite this wet before. Oh, <laughs> really went straight in it. Oh my gosh. Just so much of it. I live in a very hilly kind of part of the world and yeah, water doesn't hang around it just flows you know once it lands generally it's either uphill or downhill there's that a drain yeah that was a drain under there i don't know if you can see another completely overwhelmed one and it's all heading off down over the grass down there towards the main path that's quite a wide flow actually i'd say that's a good meter wide where it's flowing there get over this bit under what Ooh. <laughs> the ducks are like yay we got a pond extension it's all flown into the duck pond this here is all just coming down off the hill, pooling on this lawn area here and just shooting down into the pond. This is the worst bit, I think. Look! My feet are wet now. Well, one of them is wet, the other's dry. home so I'm getting really wet and also the light is going I'm in as you can see and my feet feel like I'm standing in the bottom of a bath that's gone cold for some reason this one elbow is wet and the other one isn't and my sleeves are dry very strange oh he's been getting arty mm-hmm your digital art presumably cut out and yeah printed out and stuff very nice Ew, look at my trousers. Oh, there's another news thing coming in. Um, Isabel, something came up in the news today. And it was about some change to the GCSE grading in Wales. Oh, no. Because I know the exams were already cancelled. And now it says the teachers are going to be drawing up your grade. But I thought they were already, so I don't know. I think before the, um, there was like a big board of people, but I don't know. All oh, right, external assessors. Yeah. Okay, I don't think there is any more. That's good for me. <laughs> I think Izzy's chewed to like, sir. <laughs> Mind you, that shouldn't make a difference. Yeah, I know, it should that be. Makes it if my tutors like me because I'm good in class. You're well behaved, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, these are so sopping wet. 
<laughs> Isabel, remind me not to go out for a walk in the torrential rain again. Don't go out for a walk in the torrential rain again. I need to take my trousers off. I think I might. <laughs> They're all cold on my feet. <laughs> I'll leave those there. They'll probably mark the wall as well, but I'm not too worried about that kind of thing. I'm not that house proud of it. I'll try and keep the. Yeah. It's not rude, I'm filming my feet and my lower part of my legs. Wiki feet! No, I don't. Well, I'd be honoured if somebody thought I was important enough to put me on wiki feet. I'm drying my jeans off. It's much later now. Isabel's in the bath. I have just finished editing everything up to this point and I'm going downstairs now because guess what? It's nearly puzzle time! Yay! I'm working on this one at the moment, Riverbank Picnic. Isabel cooked our dinner tonight, which was very nice. I very much enjoyed not cooking. It was fish fingers and oven chips and stuff like that, and some salad. She always does exactly the same thing. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you would like to follow more of our story, do hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.